So, hello everyone. You guys haven't seen me in a while. But I wanted to share something with you that I have purchased. Um, just want to do a review. So, it just came in the mail today. And you're like, what are you doing? Why are you going down to the floor? Child, because... And so, this is the pretty purple box that came in. Okay? So, when you first get it, you'll see the purple bag with the hair. And it's inside of a net. Some netting. It's black net. And it also comes with one, two, three, four, five interchangeable headbands. Let me show you. I don't know if they give you different ones for one that you get. I don't know. But this is um one of them. That is tight. I don't know if I can take this. Uh, it's a brown one. Military one, who uh, leopard, and the colorful yellow one. I wish they gave you something with red. That would have been nice. Let's see, they tried to do the neutral colors with the yellow and the whatever. I still like it though. It also comes with the wig. It also comes with this rubber band that I can show you in a minute once I take this off because I know you guys want to see. And it comes with this cute little Love Me Hair bag with these different accessories and different things in there. I guess this might be like an extender. There's not like a thing in here that comes and tells you what's what. Um, if I didn't know anything about wigs, there was nothing here to tell me anything. Not, not like that. Not for that. Then they have their own little hairpins. They come with this cute little clip. Let me turn my light on. This cute little clip comes with a bag that I guess you would store the hair in. Comes with its own tweezers. Okay. Got that. But I love that. Thank you. Love me hair. Very cute. Very, very cute. I even love these as well. And I have you guys on here today like this because my phone is dying. So I get you a little tilt on. Oh, let's see. Let put this under here. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, stability. Um. So I'm gonna put this back in here and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna take this wig off because I did have it in the ponytail. My friend told me I need to take the ponytail out for the work. So, you know, these are the headband wigs, okay? So this is how it looks when you have it. Okay, and it's the yellow one I have on. This is how it looks on the well when you when they're in the package you saw they were inside out. And so they all look like they're the same, pretty much the same design. Let me turn the light off. They're all pretty much the same design. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm putting this one back on. So, in the back here, it's, it's, okay. So this is the thing I would say that you, this could be an improvement. It's, it's nice hair. I just, um, I guess nobody would want this to be too hot. I would not, I'm not a wig person, so this would not be a thing I would wear or could even wear in the summertime. Nope. But anyways, this is an adjustment I would say too that they need to do because my head is not this big. Can y'all see? It's a lot of extra. A lot. Okay. So you take it off like that. I don't know. Jeff, yeah, let's see that. Let me see. See the back? Huh? You see that? Come Velcro. So it's pretty, it's pretty, it was pretty big for me. So, and it has three combs in there. I guess you could wear it like that too, Chad. I don't know. Chad. Okay. So it comes with three combs. And here's the, here's the, the little rubber band comb. Woo! So, it's hot. I had my hair in the point of that to take my hair, French braided down. 
Anyway, so here's the combs. You have one here, two, three, four combs. Is it four? Yep, four. And if you look at the inside, it's a nice little knitted cap. And I was wondering, my friend, when I had her, I said, look at it, see if you can see anything, the weft or the weave, the weaving or the weft, the netting, whatever you want to call it. So this hair, you can wash it, you can do a bunch of stuff with it. And I can't remember if I showed y'all, but it also came with a pamphlet that will tell you everything is love me hair. It has the returns and refunds, how to carry uh, your hair slash wig, how to use your hair slash wig, FAQ about products and usage. Tells you how to use it, what to do. I got mine off of Facebook. Um, I went through Facebook. That's where I got mine from. Oh, child, that wig is hot. I gotta comb through this hair real quick. I know y'all can care less. But I have to let it not comb because my hair is still a little bit wet from this morning. Just a little bit. Just looking for my big black comb. But anyways, I can do a better braid. And those of you who kept saying, oh, that's not your um kept saying about my hair being a certain way i don't know i just have that hair when you uh when you wet it honey it just chill okay i know i'm being a little rough with this. i'm trying to hurry up sorry it's been six minutes so and i know y'all people out there ain't got a lot of patience so let me see if i could rebraid this a little better oh right, let's see it's gonna put it ain't gonna be perfect honey it's just whatever Put this little French braid in and do it. Hmm. This thing is not. It's not. Anyways, I could have left it how it was. I don't care about how it looks because it's my first time like really wearing a wig. So my husband didn't like those. I don't know if he was still here. He was like, girl, what are you doing? Yeah, my husband passed from COVID pneumonia. Yep, he sure did. All right. So to me, it ain't got to be perfect. Like I said, this is my first time really doing this wig thing. It's going to brush this down a little bit. So... All right, that's that. I'm sure most people do the edge stuff. Not really. Oh, I didn't get to show you this band. So this is the tooth, the teeth. It has teeth on one side. So all this stuff comes in your package. So they let you know, honey, they have you prepared. Okay, so it has a good stretch, even if you got a big head. I feel like I have a big head, but honey, they made me feel like I had a small head on this thing, okay? And I'm taking this to my ears because the first time I put this on, you gotta kind of do it like that. I'm going through the whole process with y'all because y'all know that's just what I'll do. But it's been some time. So anyways, see? So I guess it does that. But I don't know how people do these little edges with it because Chad, that just, for me, that's enough. And I, okay, so when I first put this on, my best friend, she was like phone me. I see the hair is kind of under there in that little thing. My hair is very thin. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the combs from the back first. Because it just seems to be a little bit easier for me. Like I said, I am not, I am not a weak person. So I'm just kind of feeling it. Okay. So I'm going through the process, but you didn't open the box with you, but might as well hear that showed you everything you needed to see. Yeah. Alright. Alright. So. Oh, it fits right there behind you. I guess we can do that right. 
And then this here in the front, there's a comma. I'm just sticking it under the white band for a second. For me. Okay. So, while your hair is down, and this is where I said my dilemma was. I'm getting hot, chat. Just want to say, bang. So, this was my dilemma here. Not the fact of the hair or anything. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to clip this. I'm going to clip this together real quick. I hope y'all can see good. Okay. This was a problem for me. Because my head is not as big. So, well, I feel like I got a big head, but. So, this here, you put the, I guess you put it there. Make sure you pull the around behind your ears, right? And then, as you do that, I guess it just wants you to put it on there. Like so. Um, I'm just trying to smooth that part out. I don't know why it would matter, but okay. Thank you. So for me, I would like it a little bit tighter. <sighs> Chair, okay. And I guess they make it loose now that I think about it. Because after I put that goddamn on, headband on. So see, that's it. Put that on. Okay. Then you take your headband. I hope y'all saw that. If y'all didn't, I'm so sorry. Then you take your headband. I guess you could let this out. Okay. So it already has its own little black headband. And I guess like my friend said, you gotta put push it back some. Yeah. But I'm like the thing, where's the rubber thing now? Let me see. Oh, the rubber thing there. Just run back a little further than that, but like chat, I don't know. Okay, let me leave it alone. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. Now let's put this on, put that on, and I guess you can leave it, do it how you want to do it. I like it how I had it the first time, but I guess I got to put it on the same kind of way a little bit, or kind of, I did it backwards, then I, yep, but it's all right, it's, now it's just really looking like a headband instead of cute how I had it earlier. So that's the headband wig. Chat, let me see. All right, I guess you just mix and flow with it. Make this one a little bit thinner, a little bit. Let me see. And I guess you just fix it how you want. Do it how you want. They seem to be very stretchy and flexible, so I kind of like that. And I guess you can put it up. Not really, I like that, but y'all know. So, I like that the wig too. You can, and it just kind of stays there. If you put it to the side, you want one a little more to one side than the other. You can get cute with it, put it over your face. I don't want chat. You can do a little ponytail thing. I've seen some of the girls did that on the video, but I don't know. Let me see. So, I guess she could do those kind of things too. Anyways, so y'all see y'all can play with it however you want to play with it. Whatever that little entail. And I think it's cute. So, some easy something to throw on. Chad, you don't feel like doing your hair. Even if you did have braids or anything, you was doing like a protective style. You can do that too. It ain't always got to be because you just don't want it for your hair. But, like I said, it could be that protective style. So, anyways, ladies, that's it. Oh, hold on. This should be under the headband. Mm, that could be problem number one. <laughs> no, okay. Now, the. Yeah, see, now it's coming back, so. 
a little bit. It was overhead. Oh, jeez. Just one there, one there. And I guess, I don't know, that's how I would wear it. Me, because I'm not, I'm not doing nothing fancy. But you can oil these hairs. You can blow dry them. <sighs> Chat. So you can do a whole lot. And you can see as you saw it through it there, it's not, it's not, it's obviously not uh, thick. So that's another good thing. But I like this one because I thought this was the one with the texture of my hair. And it's not. My hair is like a 3C, I believe. Yep. So that's that. I think it's cute. I like it. Hope you liked it. Um, would I do another? Not sure, but, because I have a, there's another lady that I know that does a wig, but it's cute, it's cute. Maybe I would, maybe I would, but the thing is, too, when you do these wigs, it's so, it's so nice. The thing is, too, I would say when you deal with these wigs, um, what is it? I don't even know what I was going to say, Chad. But anyways, um. It feels good. It's not heavy. It's light. I just don't. I don't. I don't like all the heat. But I think if you was going on a date, for me, I'm more a casual, chill girl. Unless I'm going to church or when me and my baby go on a date or hang out with my sister Keisha. Other than that, that's it. But anyways, let me let y'all go. This has been 16 minutes, and I'm out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great night. Be blessed. Bye.